All right, so I've gotten to the end right here. Now, this is the end for my handle. I do want to meet that point though, meaning I want to wrap it one more time around that to make that little piece tight. My goal on this is a good working drum, not a good looking drum, you know? Now on a hand drum, when I show you guys how to do that, the back handle, the rawhide straps that come in, as you're lacing and weaving in, that's what tightens. So you don't have to do this little technique that I've been doing here. Just FYI. Pulling down on that. And now, what I want to do is I've got my knot right here for this handle. Now, over here, the leather's almost touching. You know, like there's not a whole lot of room to get back in there again. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to let this side be this side of the handle. And I'm going to just come wrap myself over here again. That way I've kind of got it to where my handle's not going from one point to another, you know? It's um, it's starting from A and going to B versus starting at A, wrapping in a circle and going back around to B. Man, I got that so tight. I'll have to go around this one. So tight is good. Heather, I see you're calling, sweetie. Right after this video, I'll give you a call back. <laughs> Probably wondering where I'm at. Just make a simple over and under knot, like, you know, your most basic knot that you've ever made in your life. Get my twisties out. That way my knot can be smooth. shall I make I think I'm not gonna get too carried away with the rawhide and actually just make it to where um, that'll be the skeleton and then I'll wrap it in leather kind of thing if that makes sense so I'm gonna save that piece because it's longer and I'll just come right back through here with the other side and I'm just wrapping this around this is okay to be twist have a twist to it because it's not doing anything you know what I mean it's just a handle it's not under extreme amount of pressure
got more than enough, but I don't want to cut this strap until I'm done. That way, whatever I'm working on next, I have the most rawhide strap left that I could have. <laughs> Sustainability, you know what I'm saying? you guys probably getting a little bored of watching this part of it but all I'm doing see that is I'm making that rawhide and I'll end up putting buckskin like some elk skin over this but I just want it to be nice and thick because this is nice and thick and buckskin isn't so then I'll use less buckskin to have the same amount of girth Breeze cooling off, getting ready to storm. All right, now I've got it. Ba boom, and I'm going to make another knot to solidify everything so easiest way looks to be right here just gonna go under this just a simple over and under knot this rawhide as it dries tightens you know and shrinks so trust me you don't need to worry about double knotting things <laughs> not be a concern. I was just weaving it back to where the knot's going to point that way kind of thing instead of towards my hand if I'm holding the drum like in ceremony, you know. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and do that again on this side so the knot's pointing away from my hand. Perfect timing because Uncle Thor's here. And that, everyone, is how you make a traditional two sided drum. Don't forget your hole. 
even though that kind of knot is looking like it's blocking it you can see you still see that hole in there that way when i heat this drum up on the fire not in it but by it um the heat has a place to escape since it has two sides of the drum so now i just let it dry now keep in mind raw hide gets hard when it dries i don't want to set this handle down right here as it dries right so keep in mind i'm gonna lay it down kind of thing like i'll probably just put it just like this by a fan and then i'll stuff a sock or something like that anything to get the shape of how i want that to dry so have fun with it guys peace hope you enjoyed the four-part series